makes uncomfortable conversation at the dinner table known as truth. And kids love him and dogs trust him implicitly because dogs can trust honest people. And that is the sad, that is the sad truth nowadays is the honest people are the ones who are jerks and mean. The, the liars, the real evil people, are the ones claiming to be holier-than-thou, social justice warrior, virtue-signaling scum. I just don't understand how the young kids can't figure that out. Like, if you ever had me and Pajama Boy in the same room, and there'd be, a, you know, a, a ten girls, how many of them would choose me? I bet you eight, eight or nine would choose Pajama Boy, because that's how they've been trained. They'd look at me, he's like, he's a normie. He's cisgendered. He doesn't look sensitive, and they wouldn't. They wouldn't choose me. They'd go with pajama boy because that's how they were conditioned. He's trustworthy. He cares. He's sensitive. Although they'd be screwing me in in the background behind his back. Oh, wouldn't that be great to find pajama boy's wife and then bang her? This presupposes he was ever capable of getting married in the first place or finding a woman that would want to commit to him. But oh, that would be well. See, but then she'd be ugly. But just think about I mean that that'd be one where you take it for the team. <laughs> that's 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 one where it's like, how do you get back at a leftist? You you bang his wife. <laughs> oh, that'd be Oh, see now that's okay. All right, just hear me out on this one. Here's here's a little bit darker. All right. I, I operate from the perspective I got a vasectomy, so I'm shooting blank so I don't care. But if you really want to get back at a leftist what you do is you, you you cuckold the wife. Now, I know the term cuck uh, means coward or weakling or hypocrite or traitor, even uh, in today's modern political parlance. Uh, but cuckold, like the cuckold fish, um, is, or is it a bird? Basically, it means you impregnate some woman, but some other poor bastard raises your kid but doesn't know it. That would be the ultimate revenge on leftist men. And it's almost to the point, I think, that that would be... A, well, it is. It would be a noble endeavor, but it's not worth the risk because then they might do a paternity test. But if you have a really true leftist, you know, cucked male, he would never dare question the integrity and honor of his of his wife. And so that there's more to this than I'm thinking of. This is... That might be, hmm... Because think about it, there's nothing worse than a leftist male goes against all, he's he's a coward, <clears throat> he's a weakling. Don't send me the one guy who works out who's a masculine leftist. I know, there's five or six of them, I know. I'm talking the pajama boys. We go find their wives, we impregnate them, and then they got to raise our children. That's still not worth the... <clears throat> The paternity test, then the then the, and and how long do these marriages last anyway? She'll go divorce him, then she'll come after you for money. It's not worth it. I, it's just it was just a dream, just a dream to think about how to get back at leftist men, impregnate their wives, and have them. Is it you cuckold them or you cuckold their wives? Who's the cuckor and who's the cucky? Isn't it, is it cuckolding? Is it you? That's the verb you do to the guy? Or is it the wife that's doing it to the guy with another man? I'd have to go look this up and study the cuckold fish or cuckold fish a little bit more.